Hi, in this Tips and Tricks HQ tutorial, we will be looking at how the custom messages add-on for Stripe payments can be used to alter certain messages displayed by the plugin. This gives admin the ability to further customise their product checkout without the need for developer knowledge. Some of the custom messages that can be altered using the Stripe Payments custom messages add-on include the Please Enter a Valid Amount text, the Minimum Amount Is text, and the Please Enter Quantity text, along with a handful of other common messages that appear in the payment pop-up window. Changing the text may help the customers of your website check out easier or more efficiently. While this add-on is useful for altering certain messages, please note not all text in the payment pop-up can be altered by simply using this add-on and editing the translation file may be needed for the customization you wish to achieve. Before we continue, if you wish to follow this tutorial to customize a message shown in the payment pop-up window, you'll need both the Stripe Payments plugin and the Stripe Payments custom messages add-on installed and activated on your WordPress website. So once you have those two pieces of software installed and activated on your WordPress website, if you head to your WordPress dashboard, you'll be able to see the Stripe Payments main menu, then you'll be able to see the settings menu and under that settings menu, if you've got that custom messages add-on installed and activated, you'll see the option to click on the custom messages tab. From here is where you'll be able to alter all those custom messages that are displayed on that Stripe Payment pop-up window. Before we go ahead and we take a look at how you can alter a message, just ensure that you click to enable the custom messages add-on and you scroll down and you save changes. Let's take a look at how we can edit one of the custom messages and then let's take a look at how that shows to the customer on the front end of your website. Let's take a look at the please enter quantity text. So this will show on the payment pop-up and it will ask the customer to enter the quantity of the item they'd like to purchase. So I've gone ahead and I've set up an item from the products menu of my Stripe Payments plugin and I've got that opened in another tab. So let's edit this text here and I'll show you where that will show. So from my website, I'll be selling handbags. So let's put, please enter the amount of handbags you wish to purchase. Now that I've entered in that text, we'll go down and we'll save the changes there. So this allows me to customize my website so that it suits my customers. So I'll just be selling handbags, so it makes sense to be specific in this question. So then if I go back to the page where I'm selling the handbags, I'll just refresh that page to implement that change. And if I was a customer and I click buy now, I go ahead, I enter the amount. It's a donation product, this one. I've just created it like that. So if I want to pay $80 for the handbag, I forget to enter the quantity and I tried to proceed. It says, please enter the amount of handbags you wish to purchase. Let's take a look now at that quantity can't be zero custom message. So this is when the customer tries to enter zero as the quantity. So obviously you can't purchase zero of an item. So this is just to prompt them to enter in how many they'd like. So let's edit that and take a look at that one. So I've changed this one to please enter the number of handbags you wish to purchase. So if they try and put zero in, it will just prompt them to enter the number of handbags. So if I go down and I save those changes, we'll go back to that page where I have my handbags, refresh, and I'll click that buy now button as a customer. I'll just enter in 80, that's what I'd like to pay for this donation handbag. The quantity, if I try and enter zero and proceed, it says there, please enter the number of handbags you wish to purchase. So that's that custom message that I added and we can see now that that one's worked as well. Let's try it one last time to use another custom message just so you can see how this all works. So we'll go back again now. For the third example, let's take a look at this minimum amount is custom message. So let's alter that one and then we'll take a look. Let's just say minimum amount for this handbag is. So just make sure you have that is there because it actually will show the minimum amount that you have set in that product. So minimum amount for this handbag is and then it will show that dynamically for that product. Let's go and save changes and take a look at that. 
So I've saved the changes there. I'll just refresh my handbag page. I'll click that Buy Now button. And if I try and enter an amount smaller than the amount that I've set as the minimum, it will come up with that custom message. So let's just put one in and then it says minimum amount for this handbag is $10. So there's that custom message right there that we just altered. So that pretty much sums up this tutorial on just taking a look at how the custom messages add-on can be used for that Stripe Payments plugin to alter the messages shown on this Stripe Payment pop-up window. So you can alter a number of the messages that are shown. The ones that you can alter are found in that custom messages tab. There's a number of different ones that you might like to alter to better represent what you're trying to sell on your website. If there's ones here that you can't alter from the custom messages add-on, you might need to alter the translation file. For any further questions or queries about the custom messages add-on, don't hesitate to contact us.